emerges under conditions of malnourishment. So once you start getting good nutrients, your cortisol levels will stabilize, and it makes sense that you're going to get a good night's sleep. Thanks so much for sharing that, uh, uh, George. Also, too, yeah. uh, I would have a hypoglycemic uh, encounters where I would I would eat sugar in my system and uh, tang- I haven't put sugar in my coffee, but a tangy tangerine leveled off my blood sugar. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that, George. That's two good things. That's two nice points. Number one, uh, you're going to sleep better, and number two, it'll stabilize your blood sugar. And by the way, they're both connected. A lot of times, we run into low blood sugar in the middle of the night. Our body is constantly processing and doing metabolic work, and that costs us sugar. And if you run into hypoglycemia, low blood sugar in the middle of the night, you're going to end up waking up as your cortisol spikes to in response to the low blood sugar. So keeping that blood sugar stable, keeping your cortisol stable by using nutrients, micronutrients especially like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a great strategy. Thank you. Appreciate that. George, thanks for your call. All right, let's go to, uh, well, I'll stay in Texas. Tricia, what's going on? Um, yesterday, I know that you gave a dosage uh, for children on the Tangy Tangerine. Um, but what age can you start that at, um, well, that and the Osteo FX? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, I don't think the osteo effects is necessary for kids. Uh, for children, it has more to do with body weight than it has to do with age. Uh, typically, uh, on, the, on the label anyway, it says a quarter scoop daily per 20 pounds of body weight. So if you've got a, a 40-pound child, you're going to look at around a half a scoop daily. Uh, if, uh, if you're breastfeeding, you don't need Beyond Tangy, your child doesn't need Beyond Tangy Tangerine. When you're weaning your child off of a breast milk, you may want to throw in a quarter scoop daily in a, a bottle of water and have the kids sip on it. It's not going to hurt them. It's not urgent that you get them on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but it sure wouldn't hurt. And it doesn't have to do as much with age as it has to do with body weight. So uh, go by, uh, start, I would start at around 40 pounds, use around a quarter scoop per 20 pounds. That's about a half scoop uh, a day for a 40 pound child and uh, go go more by weight than it is by age. Thank you for your call, Trish. Appreciate it. Uh, John in Texas, what's up, buddy? Hey, thank you. I'll keep this quick. I know you get a lot of callers. I'm right. looking for a way to naturally reverse the bioaccumulation of heavy metal toxins. Uh, you know, through our food, water, air, we're taking in a lot of heavy metals. Yeah. What do you think of products like natural cellular defense, or do you have other recommendations yeah. on how to reverse that? The best ways to do it is to chelate, to magnetically attract the minerals out of your body. And there's a lot of great nutrients that can do that. Selenium is probably the classic nutrient for chelation of minerals, uh, 200 to 400 micrograms of selenium a day. Everybody should be taking selenium on a regular basis. That's a, a incredibly important mineral for a lot of reasons, but uh, as far as heavy metals go, it can magnetically attract. That's what chelation means. It's a magnetic attraction. Uh, Selenium can chelate, magnetically attract minerals out of your body. That's the first thing to think about. Uh, Second thing that you might want to consider is something uh, that we talk about a lot on this program is something called NAC, N-acetylcysteine, and that can also have some wonderful chelation properties, and the activity, the active point on the NAC molecule is sulfur, and anything with sulfur and it is also going to have some nice chelation properties. NAC and cysteine, the amino acid cysteine is also a good source of sulfur. So sulfur and NAC, uh, there's a supplement called SAM-E, which is also a good source of sulfur and that can help you uh, chelate heavy metals. MSM is a good source of sulfur. Dr. Wallach's been talking about MSM for a long time. Uh, and MSM can also help you chelate minerals. One of the best ways to get rid of mineral, uh, heavy metals, I should say, uh, one of the best ways to get rid of heavy metals is probiotics and make sure that you're processing things correctly in the digestive tract. Any kind of leaky gut syndrome or intestinal problem is going to compromise your ability to get rid of heavy metals. So uh, think chelation, think sulfur, think selenium, think digestive wellness, use probiotics. Those are also important. Algaes can be very helpful for getting rid of heavy metals. The uh, herb cilantro cilantro can also be helpful for getting rid of heavy metals. Bentonite clay can be helpful. Zeolite can be helpful. There's a whole slew of things. In fact, I actually wrote an article. uh, I'm not sure where this article is posted. It might be up on my website, brightsideben.com. It has a bunch of uh, options for you for getting rid of heavy metals. Actually, it might be at pharmacistben.com. I'm not sure where where I put that up, but there's a lot of options for helping helping you get rid of heavy metals. Don't forget about plain old water. 
after your body processes the heavy metals, it dumps them out through the water system, and you need to be drinking a lot of water to make sure that happens. So something as simple as drinking water can also be helpful for processing heavy metals. And oh, by the way, I still am getting letters from people who think that there's heavy metals in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Let me be very clear about this, folks. There are no heavy metals in Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The arsenic and the aluminum and whatever other minerals you see in this stuff is plant-derived. It's not heavy metal. Heavy metals are deposited. They're heavy, so they're deposited in different tissues. The minerals that are in Beyond Tangy Tangerine and plant-derived minerals are not deposited. They are water-soluble. They don't sink. They float. They suspend. They hang, and that makes all the difference in the world. So for anybody who's concerned about heavy metals and any plant-derived mineral products from longevity, it's not happening. There are none. No matter what you read on the Internet, no matter what people tell you, uh, and most people who are talking about this aren't, aren't chemists or aren't nutritionists. They're not really savvy or hip to what colloidal plant-derived minerals are. So just want to get that out of the way. Anyway, thanks so much for calling, John. Appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, Karen, what's going on, girl? I'm calling about my boyfriend's chronic nasal congestion. I'm at my wit's end, <laughs> and he's presenting with some other symptoms that may or may not be related. Okay. And uh, he has, let's see, he had asthma when he was a kid. Okay. He's been tested for food allergies, and they didn't find any. He had maxillofacial okay. surgery, and they also corrected a deviated septum. It okay. helped a little bit, but he's still getting it every single day. Are you a healthcare about, professional, Karen, by any chance? I am not. You're not a healthcare professional, okay? Because uh, you sound a little, like you knew, knew a few things. Well, here's the deal: um, if you have sinusitis, especially if it's in conjunction with asthma or a history of asthma, you most certainly have a food allergy or some kind of activation of the immune system, which is more than likely a food allergy. It doesn't matter if you've been food allergy tested, and this is so important to recognize: food allergy testing is not uh, is in, is not infallible. The, first of all, the laboratories that use food allergy testing makes mistakes all the time. Secondly, just because you're not allergic to something in a test tube or a Petri dish doesn't mean you're not reacting to it in your body. I'll explain more about what I mean when we come back from our break. So hang tight, Karen. Got a couple more, got a couple lines open for you if you want to get on board. 866-582-9933 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back right after this. For health and vitality for you, your family, and friends get the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity, as recommended by registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs. If you're a junk food junkie, getting on the Healthy Start Pack is one of the best ways to wean yourself off of processed snack foods and start putting good nutrition in your body. If you have a loved one who's dealing with heart disease or any health challenge, the Healthy Start Pack makes a great gift. If you have a grandparent or a parent in a nursing home, you will be amazed at the difference a once-a-day dose of the Healthy Start Pack will make in your loved one's energy levels, in their memory, in their mood, and in their general outlook on life. Give the gift of optimal health to your loved ones and order the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. My name is Bruno. I'm 52 years old. I've tried different protein powders over the years, and they've all tasted pretty bad. 
I tried One World Way and found it to be delicious. After 10 weeks on One World Way, my wife commented, you have more muscles and you're leaner than when you were 20 years old. My body has changed dramatically. I'm a cyclist. Normally I'll ride two days on and take two days off. After being on One World Way, I rode 10 days in a row in over 100 degree heat. And then I take another two servings of One World Way and then work out at the gym for another hour and a half. I just couldn't believe these results. My normal muscle tightness and soreness after working out are virtually gone. Don't take my word for it. One World Way comes in single servings. Just give it a try. One World Way is derived from Amish, grass-pastured cows, and is newly reformulated to be higher in protein. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Find out how to stop Big Brother in his tracks at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. Side, I am pharmacist Ben. We're talking to who are we talking to in Texas? Trisha? No, not Trisha. We're talking to Karen. Are you there, Karen? Yeah, I'm here. All right, so here's the deal on food allergy testing. And I'm not a big believer in food allergy testing for a lot of reasons. First of all, a lot of people don't realize that the laboratories that do the food allergy testing are not always reliable. Not all laboratories have results that you can assume are correct. So uh, we tend to assume and our doctors tend to assume that just because you send something to a laboratory that uh, that that's a laboratory that's going to have results that are something that you can work with and that's not always true. Uh, secondly, there's uh, only a uh, there's only a there's there's not a hundred percent link positive link between symptoms and a positive test result. In other words, just because you have a positive test result doesn't mean that uh, you have a problem with food allergies. Just because you have a negative test result doesn't mean you don't have a problem with food allergies. So I'm not a big believer in this whole idea of using food allergy testing. I want to know what's happening in your body, and there's only one person who can determine that, and that's the person himself. That's the patient himself. So uh, your boyfriend sounds like he has food allergy issues. He certainly sounds like he has immune issues, especially with his history of asthma and his sinusitis. So I'd be working, whenever I hear of an activated immune system, I'm thinking food allergies, and I'd be working that way. Now, you can also check on, it doesn't have to be food allergies, it could be food intolerances, and that is just a problem with certain foods, not necessarily an allergic reaction. There's a, a slight difference between an intolerance and an allergy. In any case, it more than likely has to do with the food. The biggest suspects are going to be dairy, grains. Uh, legumes, which include peanuts and soy, and eggs, although it can be anything, really. And as we talked about uh, at, at length the last few days, it could be something as simple as fructose malabsorption. So link the sinusitis symptoms, link the symptoms that you're dealing with to food issues. Link it to problems with the digestive system. You didn't mention that if he has any kind of constipation or loose stools or gas or bloating or heartburn or anything like that. Anything going on in that way, Karen? Unpleasant bowel movements all the time. There you go, girl. And there you go. I mean, say no more. You got a digestive problem. I don't know how much, how many more symptoms you need to see. You got it. Your boyfriend, I should say, has a digestive problem. Period. 
And if I was a betting man, I'd bet my house that you got a food. Now, this is good news and bad news. It's good news because all you do is eliminate the food and the problems are going to go away. It's bad news because most people don't like to eliminate foods. Most of us become addicted to the foods we're allergic to, and it's just like pulling teeth to, draw, to try to get people to change their diets. And I don't know why it is that way, but it is that way. We become addicted and resistant to changing our diets, especially if we've been eating the same kind of food for a long period of time. But if he's got problems with his bowel movement, and by the way, this is much more serious than just sinusitis, because what's happening is, as you've, if you've been listening to this program, you know that if you're dealing with a digestive problem, you're dealing with malabsorption. If you're dealing with malabsorption, now you're malnourished, now you're starved, now your cells are not getting the nutrients they need. When the cells don't get the nutrients they need, they begin to break down, they begin to secrete things they shouldn't be secreting.